to some people, these machines are just plastic, metal, and glass. But to me, they're an extension of my eye. But it wasn't always this way. I've always had a fascination with capturing images and making videos. When I lived in Sao Paulo, I created a YouTube channel that displayed my sense of humor. But I never understood anything about the craft of filming or photography. When I arrived in Paris, I signed up for film class, but it didn't fit my schedule. I ended up in photography. Little did I know, this would be the class that would change who I am. Something clicked for me when I learned about how to manipulate light through shutter speed. I started to venture out into Paris to capture its emanating light. I was no longer taking pictures for class. I was taking them for me. I started using the techniques that my teacher had taught me, and in the process, I began to feel at home in my new city. I never had felt independence before, and now I was able to explore Paris through the vibrant veins of its metro. The metro, with all of its sights and smells, became my second home. I started to publish my own pictures, and I thought they were good, but I knew I hadn't yet taken a great shot. I became obsessed. I must have taken a thousand pictures of the Eiffel Tower. Many of them just felt cliche. On June of 2017, I went out to shoot. The sun had just emerged after an afternoon rain shower, and the light was reflecting off of the puddles. I crouched down close to the ground and saw it. The Eiffel Tower reflecting perfectly with a full moon and cloudburst behind it. I knew that this was it, my shot. Within the next two weeks, the image went viral, and over the last year and a half, it has been viewed over 100 million times. I realized that maybe I had created something artistic. I'd never considered myself an artist, but the camera changed that. For me, being an artist is the hard work and patience that it takes to produce a beautiful photograph. It's the hundreds of clicks for one good shot. It's the framing, the composition, the color. It's manipulating those elements through software with painstaking detail. I can change the mood of a photo by underexposing or overexposing, enhancing the contrast, suppressing some colors while making others more salient. It may seem to an observer that photography is just about taking a shot, but for me, my editing software is like the darkroom that black and white photographers have used for centuries. Photography has also made me a better filmmaker. I'm now more adept at telling a story through the framing and focal points. I've also learned how to use a drone, which expanded my perspective on where a lens can go. You never know in life what things are going to change you. For me, it was a city, a class, and a camera.